live if you're watching this on twitch thank you for joining me if you're watching this on youtube later on make sure to uh hit the subscribe button and uh, i was gonna say like something mr ballin would say like uh make sure to smash the like button and then get to know the like button well enough that you can sneak the like button's mom's phone number out of their phone and then smash the like button's mom too but that's only if you want to <laughs> welcome back to acid switch and my name is c to c and today i'm doing another live podcast i kind of like doing these and uh, doing them live that is here on twitch so if you want to watch them live just follow me on twitch acid switch cc I'd love to see you in the chat and hear where you're uh, joining me from. But I'm going to crack a brewski. I almost forgot to get my truly baby. And uh, that's why I sound a little bit out of breath. I was running down the stairs from getting this out of the fridge. I was like, man, I'm running late. But here we are back on the cob. I had a really good week. And I know that it was a good week because it went by really fast. Um, I was busy. But overall, good week. Ready for the weekend. Going to hopefully do some more like metalworking or something. But yeah, it went by really fast. And we're back here again on the cob. I have a few videos and clips of things that I've done this week. Some animals I've interacted with and uh some tiktoks that i have been enjoying that i want to watch with y'all I, <clears throat> I found my new favorite actor basically on tiktok so i have i have him synced up i'm gonna show y'all <laughs> this new actor that i think is just he's amazing man hilarious <sighs> man gonna be a long weekend i feel it's gonna be one of the like i didn't plan too too much which is nice but i know i'm gonna i'm gonna find some some things to do but let's go ahead and get into it while while we're rolling here and get my panel sized up off to the side here so i was gonna say one really nice thing about this week was it wasn't today but yesterday uh, it's Friday when I'm shooting this, by the way. Yesterday, a guy, an old guy gave me a high five, and it was great. It was an amazing thing. I was just like, man, I wasn't ready for that. I was just walking down a hallway, and like there were other people, and this guy was just like, hey. They kind of kind of gave me like the low five like this. It was left-handed, so it kind of got me off guard, but he was just like, on his way out, he's just like, hey, and I was just like, see you later i have no idea who it was but that made my day a lot a lot nicer i encourage somebody any of y'all to give somebody a high five at, at any point especially if it's a kid kids love high fives um my buddy matt i was gonna have him call in tonight but i'm not sure if he's still available but matt matt and i we always do old school high fives but yeah give somebody a high five Give an old person a high five, like an older person. They'd really enjoy that. It really made my day. I woke up today, and whenever I wake up, my wife always wakes up and leaves before me. So, um, our dogs disperse because they don't really care about me. They follow her out the door, and not really out the door, but to the door. And they fall asleep downstairs and everything. So, I wake up when the dogs hear me moving around upstairs they come up to check on me and so this is what i got to to wake up to when i was trying to get ready for my morning this little little creature named cookie that lives in my house it's so cute oh I was like sitting on the toilet honestly and she was just like <laughs> yeah honestly <laughs> but and she was just like what's going on bud you good i'm just like hey hey cookie but this is like the ritual it's so cute her little face her little squish <sighs> but that was a great way to start the day 
Again, if you want to send me videos or pictures of your pets, I'd love to react to them for just a short YouTube video. That'd be a lot of fun for sure. I was going to have another couple of guests on tonight, but probably not tonight. Um, just throwing that out there. But I have been lining up a few new guests and interactions with people that I actually don't know that much about. People that like I've known about locally, but maybe we just don't, we haven't talked much or, you know, we, we know each other's people and whatnot, but that's going to be really cool. I have uh, a buddy that I've known about, well, a, fr uh, a friend, an acquaintance that I've known about. We know known of each other since high school because like our music and stuff like that. But we haven't really had a chance to, to chop it up, so I'm pretty excited to, to uh, show you all what he's got going on. He's met a lot of interesting people, and he's been quite a few places too. But we'll get to that here in a little while. On the cob, baby. Just look at that. Look at Cookie. Oh, Morning sleepy Cookie. She's like, you're awake. Welcome. I'm gonna move this up a little bit. All right. Oh yeah, that piece of metal that I had, which I don't even have it down here this time, but this is the video I meant to have synced up to show you guys last time of me making that. So here you can see me kind of doing that. I have to put it in the water, I made the tss. but that is how that was made. Hopefully I'll do some more of that this weekend. I definitely want to try to. Pendants seem like kind of the go-to right now. I almost want to see if I can take one of my hologram uh, hologram tokens and put one of those, uh, like, like press one of those into it and see if that would work too. I don't know if that would be deep enough though, but let me know what, what ideas you guys have. I also do have some brass now that I'm going to melt down and maybe make something cool out of that too. But we'll see. Just wanted to throw that in there because of last time. I, I wasn't really that important, honestly. That was from a couple weeks ago. This right here, though, is some of the art that I made this week. Yay, I got to make art. It was relaxing. Yeah. No, it was pretty cool, though. I have a few dry erase boards now, and this is the small one. It's like three feet. Oh, look at the doggles. And, uh, you know, did what I was supposed to when I was done, cleaning the board off, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I have a little projector and wanted to try to mess around with that because I, I'd i be using that projector to make these rugs behind me. But, you know, sometimes I just want to practice drawing. An Ed rug would be pretty cool, like similar to that, like that, the Mr. Mr. PV, but like Ed, that'd be pretty interesting. I do want to make a rug actually uh, this weekend too, but I'll get to that here in a bit. Let me know what what you guys want to see me make, uh, or excuse me, let me know what you guys want to see me draw on the front on the dry dry erase boards. I have one that's like eight feet and one that's six feet. And then this three footer, but it's really fun to do. I also been painting my garage if you've been watching and following me on Twitch. Happy Friday, Kilo. Appreciate having you here, bro. Look forward to having you on here soon. <laughs> but uh yeah, we're definitely gonna be finishing painting the garage here soon. Maybe this weekend. Some more dry erase board art. I wanted to draw the isopods. I've also been streaming them a little bit more. I'm gonna probably do another stream of them here on Twitch as well. Just make sure to follow if you're watching live. <clears throat> this was towards the middle of the week and it wasn't a picture of my isopods, but it is the same type that I have. I just didn't have a good enough picture at the time but another round of practice I wanted to try drawing something that was a little more realistic instead of like cartoony stuff that was pretty fun I want to I kind of want to make an isopod rug but I don't know how it would turn out as a rug 
Maybe if it was pretty big, but I don't know. I feel like it would look kind of weird, <laughs> just like a like a lump. I don't know. I don't know. Have to be the right picture. I do like that time lapse though. That's cool. Diasopods, like you can see them at first, and then they just start blending in. <laughs> Yeah, this is a clip of that garage art that I was talking about a little bit ago. And I just kind of went off of random ideas I was thinking of at the time. And this plant from Mario, I didn't even know it was called a piranha plant. It's pretty dope. It's really dope, actually. But, uh, went with that. I need to get more colors. I think tomorrow I'm going to get, like, a few colors and try to do some overlapping designs around these and fill in that wall but I'm gonna start doing live music performances and stuff like that in my big old garage yeah that piranha I love that it's called a piranha plant that's cool I, I do remember seeing it in Mario but I don't know the names of most of those characters even though I did a tier list the other day <laughs> I was like that one guy this guy with the cloud No tattoos this week, though. I wanted to tattoo myself. I did the, the party thighs last week, and the, I added the flames to the party thighs, but just wasn't really feeling it. I want to get some professional tattoos. I have a few really good ideas for what I want to get. It's just like going to set the appointment and then going to get a tattoo. is like I barely have enough time to just go get the tattoo, you know? But painting the garage was really fun. If you go to my uh, Twitch channel, the full video is still up right now. I am planning on posting it on YouTube too, where you can see the other half that I did. This was just the right half. I did uh, I did a Kirby graphic on the left half, uh, Kirby with clouds and stars around him, and it turned out pretty good. The piranha plant turned out better though, I think. And then I did see the sea in the middle, kind of above them in the, uh, in the middle. Or not above them, but like kind of up higher in the middle. I'm, I'm thinking I want to put a Pokemon somewhere. Maybe like a zoo, like a Zubat, who I just thought of that just now. A Zubat would be really cool. I actually ran out of spray paint is why I haven't done it yet. But um, a, a Zubat would be cool. Or maybe put like a Meowth face. Just like in the middle or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll definitely be showing y'all though. Just make sure to stay tuned. More cookie. <laughs> okay. I think I shot this at a weird angle. And like I obviously it's a lot of black. But it, it turned out pretty decent if you look closely. <laughs> like like look at that that's actually not that bad that's not that bad every time I watch the video I'm like that looks kind of weird but look if you look closely and keep in mind my dog has malformed facial features so like it's not like that's that's how she looks like it's cute <laughs> That's so cool though when you erase it. Oh yeah, and then I drew a fish. I forgot about that. But yeah, the dry erase boards are a lot of fun. I don't know why I keep going back. I guess I'm I already have it scheduled to go back to it. I was gonna say I don't know why I keep going back to it. But um Man, yeah, those dry erase boards are a lot of fun. The really big one, I haven't really used the big ones yet, but I'm gonna I, I should try to fill them up over the course of a week. Just try to like fill yeah fill a whole dry erase board up over the course of a week that would be a lot of fun let me know if you have any ideas for what i should do as far as a really big design on a dry erase board or how to fill up a dry erase board and i'm not doing all 151 pokemon or anything crazy like that so don't even try it and <laughs> no, i'm just playing i mean if that's 
If you really want to see me draw some Pokemon, you better tell me which ones to draw. That's all I'm saying. Like, I'll, I'll do it. I'll definitely do it. But I don't know if I'm trying to. And there ain't even. All, I'm not, man, I just sounded so old. I said all 151. You know how old that makes me sound, dude? Oh my gosh. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. That's what, that's hilarious. People are like, what? 151 Pokemon. <laughs> 151? That's not. Dude, that's like nothing. That's crazy. People would. Oh, man. If there were only that many nowadays, people would. <laughs> like, it wouldn't have worked. That would have been hilarious if they, if they tried to keep it that low. I guess let me I'll, I'll take a pause I'll try to talk about a couple of current events that I've been hearing about as of lately I guess over the course of this week since I don't really share my thoughts on things like that but let me see here so like the the FN Mecca situation um, there is a, a computer generated character uh, person whatever musician person people designed it and it's like cgi they're like cgi uh, i have a, a song with gunna and i believe a either streamer or tiktoker or something like that and that song you know is out there now it's probably kind of mainstreamish. i don't know i haven't really listened i haven't tried to listen to it but um excuse me but that it that in itself was very interesting just that there was that there is a an ai rapper you can i guess is what they were saying something like that i don't know and then the word was that that rapper is getting signed for like 10 million dollars and so with all the buzz going on around that, I guess people were getting more interested in that, doing a lot more background research, and found out that the team behind this computer-generated character, uh, the main person was not an African-American person, but the character says uh, the N-word a lot. And, uh... <coughs> and, uh... You know people are going to be upset about that because it'd be easy enough to just not have the character say that but it's like trying to embody a soundcloud kind of rapper a little oozy trippy red ish kind of character but cgi and that to me was really interesting because it's not an ai it's not ai it's not computer generated vocals it's um, I think the vocals of this character were done by an African-American person and, like, an Asian person, like, two people. So, that makes it a bit more confusing, for sure. But the creator of the character is definitely not of that, uh, background. And so... The record label, I think it was Capitol Records uh declined the deal that they were going to uh offer fn mecca and uh and yeah i guess that isn't going to happen anymore i wonder if we're still going to hear about fn mecca though because i think they have like a bunch of followers on instagram or on social media and it just it just makes me think that we're gonna keep seeing more of that because if the only reason why it didn't fall through was was just because like they were using a word that you know a person of that background of the creator's background shouldn't be using even though it wasn't really coming out of his mouth then like i don't know the the how fast all of this happened like doesn't that mean that that person could just design a brand new character that just resembles a white person and then just not use any words like that and then have no issue or like i'm surprised that they didn't offer the deal to that company 
I don't I don't really know how that all worked out. But I just wonder if that means we're going to see a lot more AI like computer generated celebrities, I guess you could call them. Um because if so, it seems like it they kind of just let let them in the door really easily and we're just about to let them kind of get whatever they needed to take over, kind of get what, you know, because that, that's what they if they if it was successful then i'm sure they would have just created more characters and taken more business from real people i guess would be the idea but i definitely would be interested to know what you guys think so make sure to let me know and uh yeah i just i find that strange that i wonder how much they paid gunna to do that song with them i believe that believe that fn mecca only has like three songs out total or something with some cgi crazy music video or something like that i don't know but i find the idea odd of having like cgi celebrities like we're just not they're not gonna be real people anymore and i'm i'm a little frustrated that they were just letting that happen they but like no like the the record label capital records was literally going to let that happen and i would i, I need to do some more thinking maybe on how often that happens because to me it just sounds like if you were about to offer mickey mouse a 10 million dollar record deal to do what like you know what i mean to have disney hire some people to make an album and then just you're giving you're just gonna give disney 10 million dollars like you know what i mean it's just kind of weird it just doesn't seem right it's not they're not real it's not real but maybe it is going to be a new way to give actual rappers jobs uh like maybe songwriters could write songs for these characters and then i mean obviously they will be but maybe it will give musicians jobs in a way that i'm not yet uh in tune with so i don't know it just seems like we're gonna see a lot more of it anyway i, I find it really fascinating just how fast that it was all going to happen it was like oh fn mecca is like getting signed and i i had heard about them but i hadn't listened to them but it's like they're getting signed for like 10 million it's like why are you talking about them like it's a person it's like obviously not just like a per one person and then it's like oh they're wait they're okay they're like not getting signed they're you know they did that and it's like okay well yeah that, okay cool but like what? this is all happening so fast can we just like take a minute like this is not even like something new it's like all this testing the waters stuff that's going on I, I feel like a lot of things going on right now are testing the waters we're in a very transitional period where a lot of new ideas i guess are being accepted and um like you know with uh, a lot of new things are just happening that people that are kind of used to certain things aren't used to and uh i don't know yeah it's it, in a way it's kind of testing the waters it's it's it could just be seeing how people not like it's intentionally but it's it kind of has opened my eyes to like how people would perceive a character like that where before if you told me that again like mickey mouse is going to be a rapper and like uh, it wouldn't be Mickey Mouse, but if Disney uh, like just designed a rapper that was CGI and had a team behind it, then who knows? If that's just allowable now, I guess. I find that pretty funny. I do find that pretty funny, though. <laughs> Excuse me. Just a moment. All right. Yeah, the FN Mecca situation. I, I, I mean, I don't really know if that's over either, but we'll see. We'll definitely see. Other than that, let me see here. What else have I been hearing about? I guess there's been. Oh yeah, Andrew Tate got canceled. Um, 
he got deplatformed, like official, like you know, as far as like being technical, and he's not allowed on these platforms. I, he put out an apology, not really an apology. It was like a, a final statement, kind of just saying like. I wasn't really trying to say things say things that way and I never caused any harm to anybody and it was like okay like if you feel that way it's I guess maybe you're just like so out of the loop that you don't know about the impact of things because he I mean he didn't know who like Travis Scott was or something like he didn't know who they like yeah, like somebody asked him uh, who a handful of celebrities were and he had no idea who they were so like what if he really just doesn't know what anybody thinks about anything uh and they, i guess that would kind of be the point of like why you shouldn't take what he's saying literally or anything like that but yeah that was really interesting he got like deplatformed and all that I definitely was curious how long his run was going to last while watching it happen. Uh, I I wasn't imagining it would be too long. Like, he was getting so much hate for so long, though. I just couldn't imagine that being in that position. Like, it would be so surreal. Like, your job is to get hated on. But he was somehow making a lot of money off of it. And then he had his Hustlers University where people were paying to get knowledge from him and everything. But I still find that quite odd that he was so willing to get that much hate and then, but also not acknowledge that he was even getting hate. Like, he would sit there and just be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Nobody hates on us. Like, they hate on you because you're a beta. <laughs> And like, you know, just I'm over here having an amazing time, living lavish and amazing. It's like then why like okay, why like why why do why are you talking to us then? <laughs> it's just it's, it's quite it was quite funny, but definitely gave a lot of people a lot of things to talk about. Um many things about his uprise reminded me a bit of Donald Trump just a bit because they're this they're a similar type of celebrity where they they know how to get a reaction out of people on the celebrity side of things not as a i'm not saying anything about donald trump really as like a politician but like on his popularity rise and whatnot but i would definitely be curious to know what y'all think down in those comments <laughs> i've just been watching this video of cookie me drawing cookie on the dry erase board uh on repeat go to the next one for y'all oh yeah i'll probably won't even be able to see this i gotta blow it up it's a uh, i found a, a baby isopod i like isopods yeah i like bugs i'm weird but yeah when i was uh when i was mowing I found a baby isopod it was running really fast. The wild ones run really, really fast. I don't know if that's just because they are wild or if that was just like, if that's the type that, uh, I almost said that's the type that grow here. That's the, if that's the type that we have here, they just happen to run fast. But it was so little that I had to catch it. I picked it up and then I was just chilling in my hand for a while. I have a piece of rotting wood in my backyard that I'm about to bust up and maybe leave a few pieces somewhere and maybe collect more isopods. I'm going to be doing an isopod terrarium. I was going to be doing one this week, but I did not have the time. It just went by way too fast. But I mean, I'm going to set up, I'm going to take some mosses and things and put them in a terrarium and add, add some of these isopods and add some of my isopods, my designer my designer isopod my i like dalmatian ones and i have orange ones look at these look at this wild wild disgusting random isopod no it's pretty interesting to look at it though i like comparing them 
the ones that are known as like roly well they're all known as roly polies to most people but the ones that roll into a ball are sometimes of the armadillidium i think is how you say it uh, species or family those ones are cool i don't really be seeing those as much these days though around here but if you do pick up a pill bug and check it out just make sure to be nice to it make sure to just look really look at it they have gills they don't breathe with lungs they're crustaceans so they live in humid areas like under under things behind things that's why you see them there and uh it's really cool to look at them they're their little antlers and everything like that man it's so trippy but um yeah be nice to them don't like just kill them and stuff don't do that just be nice to them they're they're chilling they're they're breaking down um dead things they, they eat decomposing leaves and things like that. Decomposing wood. Things that we don't want around. Things that we don't need here. Let me pause this. It's good. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, mate. Ah, uh, there is nothing better than a baby isopod that you find in your backyard. <laughs> that was not funny at all. That was hella cringe. It's hella bad. Um, I, for, I, I, I was talking about like current events like Andrew Tate and stuff like that before. Yeah. Yeah, that was interesting. Um, other, other current, kind of current online drama or anything like that there's the jadeon situation where he's still banned from twitch and then he talked he just talked to somebody that some woman that like had what, what what's the word what what's that word they use on family guy coitus <laughs> relations on uh twitch live on twitch i guess and uh i guess only got banned for seven days and he's just freaking out because he's banned forever for his whole thing that he did with pokimane but i just saw that earlier and that was pretty funny so now he's like super heated and i don't really know if twitch is like showing favoritism by doing that because they they banned that one dude dr disrespect and he was one of their biggest streamers so and they like just wouldn't even tell him why they banned him at first so i think it's just a little bit different for everybody but that is a little bit crazy that she was she got smashed on twitch and didn't even didn't even get banned for more than seven days and she he was like talking to her live even i think that's pretty wild though pretty wild pretty pretty wild but yeah i feel i feel kind of bad for him i don't think he really needs twitch i think he makes enough money from youtube i think and i i think after everything he's already done with his little beef with twitch that they're not gonna let him back on but it could just be for the for the the, the drama the gabagool <laughs> nah, the the um yeah the 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 attention that that kind of beef would because you're beefing with a whole platform but then he's he's simultaneously like complaining about youtube in certain regards like uh i've seen certain videos where yeah he's complaining he's they're complaining about youtube a lot of people complain about youtube for some reason um i think it has to do with the way that they promote certain people over others which i don't know enough about that to really understand how most of that works i don't do this for money i don't post to youtube for money nor do i post or stream on twitch for money i just do it because i have the time sometimes and 
I like doing things besides making music and making things physically that I get to enjoy later, like these rugs and stuff like that. Uh, I can I can just make a video and it seems really easy when I'm doing it and then after I do it I'm like wow I did all of that in that amount of time it's just so easy to do and uh, yeah I'm just drinking it truly talking to my computer and showing you bugs that I found in my backyard but it can be a wonderful time and that's what it's all about I'm just give myself a little shiver thinking about that because that's really, it means so much and it could mean a lot more to somebody else and I, I might not even know it. And I, might I may never know it and that's okay. That's perfectly fine. I just hope that you enjoy it. <clears throat> I only got a couple more things on here, I think. Let's see, oh yeah. I found a grasshopper when I was mowing the yard earlier. That was pretty crazy. This I am gonna have to. I'm gonna have to zoom in on it because it it looks pretty crazy. Look at this thing. I just saw it in the yard. And I was like, "Let me see you there, buddy." It looks like it's waving at us. What if it was like pointing to danger, or or telling me like, "I'm gonna go that way." <laughs> I don't know, I'm just like, all right, bro. I was literally, I, and then I put it down. I was like, just try not to get run over. But I had already done most of that area. I just had one little strip. So it jumped off and it crawled out of that little strip. And it was good. So I don't really know what it was pointing at. I wonder if it was pointing at anything. Let me know in the comments. Why not? <laughs> Why not? No, nah, I mean, I don't know. It, it, it's funny. It's like that way. And <laughs> it, it jumps. But I just I picked it up because like look how big it is. Like I had to, and it looks like a leaf. That specific color of fallen leaf. It had a little bit of spit. It has a little bit of spit right there. But that that yeah. That was cool. Really enjoyed that. I always think of like Hopper from The Bug's Life. Dude, ants are so little and grasshoppers are usually pretty big. Like that's a pretty big one, but I don't know. I feel like they're normally even half that size and like ants are just so little. I don't think a colony of ants could feed a colony of grasshoppers. I don't think that would make sense unless they're just using multiple ant colonies. What if that, ooh, what if that was a crazy backstory of Bugs Life was like, they weren't just, they weren't just extorting the ant, that one ant colony with Flick and them. They were actually doing it to a bunch of different ant colonies. And so, when they, like, stop Hopper and all them, spoiler alert, no, I'm just kidding. But when they stopped Hopper and them in Bugs Life, they just saved, like, a whole bunch of other ant colonies. Because there's no way one ant colony could sustain a whole fleet of grasshopper. Grasshopper are so big, and they eat so much. I'm going to look into that. I'm going to see if anybody else thinks anything about that. About the Bugs Life lore. Need to look up the Bugs Life lore. Why not? Why not? Because why not? Why not? That would be fantastic. Yeah, so isopod footage. More isopod footage for y'all. This is one of mine. It's a Dalmatian. It's beautiful. Look at that. He's like, you're blinding me. I just had to get a good video of those ridges, though. The skirting around the, the legs. Look how crazy they look. Look at those feet. Look at that. Like, their feet 
are just little muscular hug things. Look at its eyes. They have multiple eyes. Similar to a fly, I think, but not as many. Wow, it's just so cool. Alright, I need to find a cool time to pause it. Let me see. Got the orange isopod doing his little sensory. And yeah, there we go. Yeah, look at the skirting, the little spikes. Look at that. It's so cool. And they shed too. They, These guys shed their skin like a snake. You'll see them have like half their their body pop off, it looks like. And then it's like it's shed. Wild, man. Wild. Oh, okay, we're about 40 minutes in. That's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. Get a good look at those legs. The tail. Oh man. They're so tiny. Like at the very top of the video up here, that's my fingerprint. That's like the ridges of my fingerprint. So like, I mean this guy's a decent size, but man, it's so it's crazy the detail. Amazing. Wow. Yep. Yep. This is what I do it for, guys. I hope this is why you're here, is just to look at isopods with me, because I do love me some isopods. Let me tell you what. I'm a member of a group on one of my social media platforms. And I've learned a lot about isopods on there, actually. I'm going to hopefully be getting some new kinds soon. And maybe some other critters to add to my arc. But you guys will find out here in the near future. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And then you got the orange. Look at them. It's like, hey, what's going on? Oh, the antenna. Look at those. They're like... It touched my finger and ran away. That's great. I just really enjoy animals that you can keep in a tub. I think it just seems... It's so natural. Like, you don't really have to do anything with them. You could even just, like, use dirt as a substrate. I do... I use a little bit of dirt sometimes, but... Most of my substrates and products for them are store-bought from a, a pet store. Man, it's so cool, though. The species that I have are native to, I believe, Western Europe. So I think that means, like, maybe Germany and UK regions. Perhaps. <laughs> Alright. What else we got? Microgreens. I did microgreens. I grew some. I have two big bags of them right now. This is a video of me growing them. So I had my seeds. I already have a... F oh yeah. Let me rewind. I have a full, vi I have a full video on my YouTube channel. Which is uh, right down here acid switch and you can watch me doing this and explaining it on there in a quick i think it's like a nine minute video but i do recommend checking it out because it's really easy you can grow food on pieces of plastic as long as there's a way to keep moisture underneath that piece of plastic you can grow seeds on that piece of plastic and i hopefully will be doing some cool experiments with that also on the YouTube channel. I want to grow microgreens out of maybe a can, like a, take a can and split it in half and grow some out of a can. And maybe even, oh, I don't know, something weird like a flip flop or a yogurt cup. 
Something like that. Excuse me. But you take your seeds, you let them soak. Some people grow microgreens on it on their counter just in a jar by just soaking the seeds and then draining the water and then I think you like add more water. I don't really know. I don't know about doing all. I don't know about all that. Uh I don't know. I like growing it and then cutting it. I just think that makes more sense. But if you if you sprout in a jar, that's cool too. I mean, you still get the same stuff. But you soak your seeds. You put them on a tray and then you put paper towel on top and get them wet. And then you stack them or you put and then put weight on them. I took the knives and fork or knives and scissors off and put some more weight on top. And then after a couple of days, you take the weight off and you've got sprouts with roots. Check out the little sprouts. These are broccoli. So tiny broccoli seeds, but you see how they grow through the plastic. They just grow right through. It's really cool. It doesn't need dirt. And then after like, I think a week and a couple days, like nine days, something like that, they're ready. I've done it quite a few times. So now I just, I just kind of know when they're ready. I don't really keep track of time at all. Honestly, it's kind of crazy. Like I can just, I can just tell you when they're ready, but uh, yeah went ahead and chopped them up oh I still had it zoomed in from the other video did it there we are it's a little bit better hold up ah let me bring it back here there we go alright now you can see me cutting them a little bit better. So yeah, I just chop them off. I put them in a bag. Usually I put the bag I put the bag with the microgreens now uh, in them in the fridge. Uh, I leave the bag open for a little while to just like let some of the air uh, let let some of the air evaporate out because otherwise you'll have a lot of water in them because they've they've just been drinking water through their luscious roots. But then, yeah, you just chop the roots and the bases of the plants off of the tray. And now I got microgreens. There's tons of them. I got so many. So many. So many in the fridge right now. I should go up there and just grab the bag and just eat a whole bag right now. No, they're really good though. I, w I will just eat them by the handful sometimes. But you can put them on just about anything. It's awesome. It's a, it's a good way to just grow some food. Get a lot of extra nutrition. For really cheap too. Really, really cheap. What else we got here? Yeah, man. I am going to be making a new rug soon well, I did mention that earlier I was trying to remember if I did or not basically okay so some of my thoughts on rugs to make next I want to make a hamburger so I have like a piece of pizza and these little mushrooms behind me um, on that rug frame I'm gonna make a little like two buns a patty, a piece of cheese, tomato, and then maybe like a random, a piece with like some red and yellow swirled around as though it's like the condiments. And I'll be able to stack them up and it'll be like a three, you know, a, what, four dimensional. Because these are already 3D technically. Some of them have texture differences. But yeah, I'm gonna make a, a stackable burger mini rug. 
that you could use for like uh, I could use it for like a like table ornaments also that's kind of the idea so I'm not gonna put them on the wall I want to be able to stack them probably put them at my bar or something that'd be hilarious though make sure to follow me on TikTok by the way at see this house you can watch videos like this I just hit 1,000 likes on TikTok so I'm really happy about that and uh I'm going to be making a TikTok video with my TikTok soon. So I'm going to watch my TikToks with y'all and tell you the backstory or some of my thoughts behind why I made that video. If you're interested, make sure to follow and stay tuned. I'm getting so tired right now. Oh my gosh. The day is just hitting me. It's all hitting me. I, I still have things I need to get to. I'm not even done yet. Oh my goodness. But man, it is hitting me. The bender rug turned out really nice. I have it right here on the wall. So y'all can't see it, but it's like, it's stapled to my wall right over here. And, uh, hold on. And if you peep, I, I put the, the carpet microphone over his beer. So it's like Bender's holding a microphone that I made out of, well, a, a carpet microphone that I made, but yeah, that, that looks really good too. I love that one, but some of my, okay, yeah, some of my thoughts though, otherwise, okay, I want to make the, the, the carpet burger. A big rug I want to make would be, I want to do the Tom and Jerry, the rug going down the stairs, that's like Tom going down the stairs after he got flattened. Uh, another bigger rug that would be cool hmm. really any pokemon i feel like i had one in mind but i can't remember now because i've been thinking about stuff to paint on my garage or in my garage but um i want to do i still want to do the seawall so like i have how i have the the clownfish I want to do a sea anemone, a big sea anemone, for sure. At some point, I will do a big shark. I don't know if I'll do it this time. Maybe I'll do a shark, honestly, though. Maybe I could do a shark and the tom rug. Because the tom rug doesn't have to be super big. It's just kind of long. So I could do kind of on the big rug frame that I made Bender on that you see on the screen there. I could maybe on half of that do tom. Because tom is a cat. Tom is like a foot tall. If you think about it. So Tom, the Tom rug only has to be like as long as the brace and not very wide. So yeah, we might make that happen. Might make that. Might do, might do a shark. Tom rug first on that one. But first is going to be the, the, the hamburger rug or the cheeseburger mini rug. Then you'll probably see me make Tom and then a shark or some. Maybe I'll try to think of some kind of other sea creature to do that's bigger. Like maybe a decent sized jellyfish. Um, actually, that'd be cool. I would say an octopus, but I, I think a, an octopus would have to be the whole, the the whole three foot. Because I want I want it to be like a trippy octopus. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do some sea life on that wall. Uh, made or some not real sea life. We don't we don't take things from the ocean. I would cuss SeaWorld out, but this is the podcast, so yeah, I'm not going to do that on here, but man, I'd be wilding out. I'd be going off on SeaWorld on my other platforms. Y'all, man, y'all y'all might not even know. Y'all might not even know. I, I can't stand them, but I got to keep it cool. I got to keep it cool for the podcast, but we don't like SeaWorld. They can be shut down and all that. They get all the, the smoke. <laughs> all right. All right, let me chill out. Let me chill out. Let me chill out. Now we're for real. They need to build better enclosures for the animals at those places. As far as just giving them more space. I know it just sucks to use the terminology they, but there are like giant Olympic sized stadiums, the sizes of coliseums that just aren't being used because they were abandoned after the olympics and then these whales have to live in a swimming pool the size of what you see at the ymca that's really frustrating 
I get really, really annoyed by stuff like that. I, I try to make really nice, realistic terrariums and um, escapes for all of my animals. And I would hope that professionals being paid to do so would do the same, but it doesn't always happen that way. Maybe, maybe it does. I don't, I don't know. I haven't been to every aquarium. I try to look at some of the live streams of them to see, to check some of that out, but you can't really tell. You can't really tell. I just get so worked up about that stuff, though. Can't stand it. Cannot stand it. Anyway. Gonna be making more rugs soon. Follow me on Twitch. You can watch me make them live. I am planning on posting them on YouTube as well, but it'll, it'll probably be more time lapses. But you can watch me make them live on Twitch. Chat with me. Um, watch it in real time. See what I'm listening listening to while I make them, because I, I probably won't be chatting as much, but I'll be busy with my hands, and my hands might have glue on them and stuff like that. But I might have something funny playing in the background, or some maybe decent music. I don't know. Maybe some trash music, too. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't have anything planned. I'm not good at finding things to just vibe out and listen to. I'm, I'm just kind of like... I don't know. I, I just I, I listen to shit when I, yeah I, I don't know. I listen to stuff when I get home, and then like once I run out, I don't really know what to do. I don't know. Okay, it it, it it depends what's going on. There's been a lot going on now, like this last week. Now I got a little bit more time on my hands. Anyway, man, I'm just getting so tired too. Been going for like almost an hour that's good though that's pretty good it has been going by fast just like this week can't believe it's already the weekend gotta try to get some stuff done do some cool stuff make some cool videos out of doing some cool stuff oh well that that's it for that the podcast is not over though because like i said at the beginning i have to show you my new favorite actor he's hilarious I found him on TikTok. Hold on just a minute, though. <laughs> it's just the grasshopper waving again. He's waving. He's pointing. He's waving. Is he waving or pointing? Like, hold on. Just tell me. Like, look at this. <laughs> look at it. Look at that. Oh, look at it. I, I think he's pointing. I think he might be saying, like, put me down. I think he's saying, put me down. I didn't really have a hold of him either. I just cuffed him and then he crawled out of my hand. He did have that little, little droplet of spit or something on his mouth though so maybe he was just like put me down <laughs> oh jeez I need to stop I'm so tired um yeah so anyway my new favorite actor all time no I don't know about all time but he's bro this guy is hilarious it's Tony Tony to Tov Statovchi, Statovchi, and I love how he can put himself in other people's shoes. He can set up these scenes. Like my favorite one, it's not even in these ones that I've selected to show y'all. But my favorite one is he's like this is he's like point of view the Romans when they heard Jesus was resurrected <laughs> and. It's like he's like dancing and listening to like Candy Shop by 50 Cent. And then it like pans to him coming in. And he's like, Sir, turn the music down. It's Jesus. He's back. <laughs> and they're like, What? No, he's not. We killed him. <laughs> and he's like, No, you know, he's back. He's like, But we did three days ago. No, he's back. And then they both start crying. But. I'll just let y'all, I'll let y'all see what I'm talking about. Hold, hold up here. 
let y'all check the homie out. Make sure to follow him though. He is hilarious, man. Dan. No, I was not joking. So y'all are awful people. Now, let's see. Yeah, man. I am. Okay. Come on, guys. So, <laughs> so what? Are we... My girl. And... So what are we gonna do? I don't know. I mean, that's just. I'm trying to make the scene funnier, but I really I don't know what to what do. What if you take your so... shoes off? And your socks. Dan. No, I was not. No, hell no. What, what, what's going? On? So what? Okay, that's pretty funny. I haven't watched all these either, but um. No, that's pretty funny. Gosh darn it, Dan. Why is why is that even something that like I have to know about? That Dan Schneider is was potentially trying to get teenagers to take their shoes off and stuff like that. But we might hear more about that after um, the 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 woman that played Sam. I think yeah, Sam from iCarly. She's talked more openly about certain things. Maybe we'll start hearing more about certain things. But I don't know, man. I don't want to hear about that. And like, no, nothing against you if that's your thing. But like, it's just Dan was probably yeah. That's like that's like teenagers like telling them to take their shoes off and stuff. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I mean, that's just I'm trying to make the scene funnier, but I really don't know what to what do. What if you take your so shoes off? <laughs> but you see yeah, how he no, like, no, no, like no, snap no. into what, another going? character. So do do? I don't know. Like, that's some fine acting. <laughs> <laughs> who, th who threw the banana? <laughs> I'm in so much pain. If you just saw the behind Why? the scenes. Why? <laughs> My keys. <laughs> what game is? What game is this? Why? Why? I don't want to be a part of this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> who, th who threw the banana? See, it makes you feel like you're getting I'm something so exclusive. Why? Why? My keys! Oh, what game is what game is this? Why? Why? I don't want to be a part of this. The fear setting in is great. It's like it's so perfect. He's just good at that. It's so accurate. So y'all are awful people. God talking Tell to all me, the humans. Everything you guys have done is 100% your fault. There is not another person to blame but y'all. But I rock with y'all so tough. I'm going to kill my son for what you guys did. Yep. Whoa. Hold up. And then once he's dead, y'all great. Sound like a plan? Hell no. Nah. Hell. Wait, oh, wait, no, wait, wait. So y'all are awful people. <laughs> Terrible people. Everything oh my you guys gosh. have done. It's 100% your fault. There is not a... But no, I love it. It's switch it. He's so good at switching back and forth between himself, which a lot of people have been doing that on TikTok and all, but he's always got... Not always, but... I mean, he's got a lot of videos. Like, y'all should go check him out, for real. Now, how is it working with a white director since you're white yourself? Yeah, it was, uh, it was cool. Yo, that yeah. would be crazy. We made the movie. Right. Now, how did it feel to look in the mirror with you and your director since you guys were... Look in the mirror? Dude, there's uh, no way. I, I mean, do people be getting asked act. stuff like that? I, I mean, hope I not. I don't know what you're asking right now. Was it refreshing to see a... Uh, brother. Brother. Um, All right. Okay. Hold okay. on. Now, how was it working with a white director? Come on, guys. Keep sending gifts, guys. Come on. Beat my opponent, guys. Come on. Oh Come my on, guys. gosh. I'm literally panhandling. I was literally I just saw but I'm like pretty, a so TikTok. Okay. Come on guys, don't let this of a podcast more money to me. Send me <laughs> of some money, guys, guys talking Send about me this. Your money to me, People be on autopilot on, gifts, when they're on TikTok on. live. Money, it's Come way on. different than a lot Come of on, other live I'm literally streams, panhandling. Uh, I'm literally panhandling, but I'm pretty so it's okay. Come on guys, don't let this fuck make more money than me. Send me your money. It's like they know that people are just coming and going like crazy. So they just they'll repeat the same thing over and over again. Come on, guys, it's pretty I'm nuts, but it makes I'm sense. But I'm they might be so making okay. a lot of money on, from guys, doing it, I guess. Oh, make yeah, more I money than me. Send me your money, guys. Send, Send me, me your, your money. Your money to me because come on, guys, keep sending gifts, guys. Come on, be my opponent, guys. Come on, come on, guys. I'm literally panhandling. I'm literally panhandling, but I'm pretty, so it's okay. Come on, guys, don't let this fuck make more money than me. Send me your money, guys. <laughs> Send me more of your money Send to me. Your me money. Come on, guys, keep sending gifts, guys. Come on.
man. I keep seeing my knee right. I need to get a knee tattoo. I want to get like a knee tattoo soon. A couple of them. I only got two knees, so I only need two. Dude, that's so funny. <laughs> Dude, that 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 lamp always did seem a little the way it goes like and then it like looks up like what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? I got these workers. Dope dope ass workers, bro. Oh no. Whatever, right? Whatever. They fucking work day in and day out. 24 hours a day damn near. I'm talking about whatever I need done in this chocolate factory, they get it done. Do you pay them? What are you, with the union or something? Bro, why are you asking all these questions, bro? I got these workers. Dope, dope. That is awful. But, no, nah, man. This guy is, that's some high quality acting. I'm saying this guy, he could definitely be in, be in a movie. Be in some shows or something. He has a lot of followers, too. Hey, Slytherin. Slytherin, where you going, baby? I he said, hey, Slytherin. Card at all. Oh, my bad, Serpentine. I was just, I'm trying to see where you're going. That's my bad, I'm Serpentine. Go. No, because while you are cute, I do not like being catcalled and you're a little too short for me. So, no. Hey, baby, I'm a donkey, right? Yeah. You know why they call me an ass? Why? Because I am what I eat. <laughs> oh, ah, my come on, God. You smile. You, you smile. Come back to the crib. We can wrestle a little bit. And in the morning, I'll make us some waffles. No, in the morning, I'll make us some no. what? Hey, some waffles. Slytherin, where you going, baby? I do not like being catcalled at all. Oh, my bad, Serpentine. I was just, I'm trying to see where you're going, because that's where I'm trying to go. No, because while you are cute, I do not like being catcalled, and you're a little too short for me, so no. Baby, baby, I'm a donkey, right? Yeah. You know why they call me an ass? Why? Because I am what I eat. Because I am what I eat. Come back to the crib. We can wrestle a little bit. Bro, that's bit. hilarious. I wonder if he thought of that. that. You probably told baby, the dragons. Where are oh, I think I saw there? this one. That's that's hilarious. It's terrible. No, 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 no. Tell Get me, water, tell me, Leonardo DiCaprio could could reenact this any better? Where are my and I, I'd say hell no. I'd say, bro, this no, guy no, is no, 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 He's no. got it. He's literally got Get it. The water, please. <laughs> Look at him. It looks like he's at a restaurant or something too. Where are my parents? Like, look at the background. There's like a DJ table, and I don't. That's like what a dog kennel. Darnell, no. It's a big Darnell, dog kennel. No. Get to the water, please. What? Hold on, hold on. Are they at like a studio? Where are my Is he just at like a studio? He must be at like a studio. Cause that's like a computer. No, no, There's like no, a PC. No, no, no. Get where, where? There's like a. I don't know what that is. And like, there's speakers though. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, I guess. That's so funny though. Like, what what's going on? Maybe this guy's a DJ. I don't know. Maybe maybe he's a producer or a DJ. That'd be kind of cool. Hell of an actor though. Hell of an actor. Like, I'm telling you. I don't think Leo or any any of them like Tom Cruise. Tell me, show me Tom Cruise doing this. Show me him. Show me him do showing this level of emotion and doing this. And I'd be very doubtful. Even so, I, I think this guy can outact any of them, the best of them. Where are my parents? <laughs> Where? <laughs> Darnell, no, Darnell, no. Darnell. Get to the water, please. I, I want to know if that sea turtle made it. I'm saying that's what good acting does. It makes you want to know what happens next. I'm not sitting here laughing at a dude rolling around on the floor being cringy. This is acting. This is a high quality acting. We need to take this man seriously. I know the, I, I, the party's canceled, bro. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> what? Why is the party canceled? We can't get any alcohol. Oh. Um, wait. Y'all got water? 
Oh, oh we lit. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. We lit. Oh, I know. The, I, I, the party's canceled, bro. There's you no got way water? About it. What? We Why got is the Jesus. party canceled? We can't get any. Just how? <laughs> like how high? It's like how high? Got got water? Got Jesus? It's a terrible joke, but like a funny mental image that is so stupid. What? Oh, what? Y'all thought he oh was sweet. Y'all thought God. I was sweet. I'm not. I don't care that oh. I'm tiny, bro. I threw the fuck out that rock. Oh, Look at wow. this man's dome piece. It's oh, in shame. Wow. High quality acting. Oh, this is this is the Steak Hotel stories about this one. This was this is crazy. This is. I just want to see a movie with Tony, in a Norbit style movie where he plays like half the characters. I want to see Tony playing David, Goliath. The general and like the Philistine general, all played by Tony. I need that. That'd be hilarious. He said, "You thought I was, you thought I was sweet. I'm not. I don't care that I'm tiny. <laughs> this is bananas. I don't know what. Oh. What? Oh. What? I thought oh, he was sweet. I thought God. I was sweet. I'm not." I don't care that oh. I'm tiny, bro. I threw the fuck out that rock. Oh, Look at wow. this man's dome piece. It's oh, in shambles. Wow. Uh, oh, this is what this is. Steak Hotel stories about this one. This was. This is crazy. This is bananas. I don't know what. What? Dude, that's so funny. That's legendary. Legendary acting skill. Like, where did he learn how to do this? Did he go to some kind of like performing arts? I just. We need it. We, we, we'll, we'll definitely be seeing more of Tony. Do I have it? I have a little bit more, though. Look at this. Tell me tell me Tom Cruise could do this. Tell me Leonardo DiCaprio. Tell me George Clooney could do this. I, I doubt it. I what highly you doubt it. Together Shut up. They want to. And then to also play the human interacting with the fly. I'm starting to feel like that the comedy coach on king of the hill that tells bobby to dress up as a dog to be funny or something or a clown or whatever what but no this guy is hilarious they want to yeah mess with the albums coming out soon and i think i'm gonna surprise a lot of people with it speaking of albums drake makes albums um in the way his music just <laughs> makes me feel did you just choke yourself i'm good i'm good i'm he just got such a nice butt. Okay, all right, okay. That is, okay. Coming out soon and I Academics do be with obsessed Speaking with Drake, albums, though. Drake makes albums. Um, and the way his music just <laughs> makes me feel. Did you just choke yourself? I'm good, I'm good. I'm, Man. He just got that, such a okay, nice that's butt. Funny. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> yeah, mess with the album's coming out soon and I... <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. That's really how it be. That's really how it be, though. You're just like, y'all was fighting? I like how he didn't, we didn't have to see him. Imagine if he showed himself as the dog or something. I don't know. He would, though. He would, if anybody would, it'd be Tony. Go support Tony. Go follow Tony on uh, TikTok, Instagram. I think he has a Twitch account. I need to follow him on Twitch. But yeah, I'm getting mega tired. But I just wanted to show you guys my new favorite actor. And now, I think I'm going to be... be uh... no, I'm just kidding. I think I'm going to be calling it a night. I'm going to be bidding y'all adieu, but I really do appreciate it if you joined me. Shout out to the name's Kilo for joining me in the chat earlier and saying happy Friday. I hope all of y'all had a happy Friday and are going to have a great rest of your weekend. Learn something new. Take the time to do something that you've been learning how to do if you can and stop putting off just taking the time to do that thing because you haven't done it yet just do it just do that thing and uh, it'll turn out really fun and if you can maybe make a video of you trying it out and put it on your youtube channel and other people might enjoy it enjoy that too 
but again if you are watching this on youtube make sure to comment let me know what your favorite part of the video was if you made it this far i really appreciate that that's crazy that's wild honestly and um let me know which of the animals that i showed you like the best let me know something that you did this week that made you happy let me know if anyone gave you a high five recently and it just like really made you it just um dude give someone a high five i'm telling y'all just do that but yeah like subscribe follow my music links i do have new music on my youtube channel um my music youtube channel official c to c and i really love to see you guys commenting on any of my platforms really just seeing y'all in those comments message me your thoughts on anything that you see me doing or anyone doing that you think i would find interesting and i would overall really enjoy that i really enjoy enjoy hearing y'all i love talking to people that don't really want anything from me and just kind of want to like be like yo this is a cool thing i found but anyway i don't really know what i'm talking about anymore i'm just gonna go to bed soon but probably gonna be up for a little while longer i wanted to stay down here and start doing the the hamburger cheeseburger rug but i am just i am exhausted have a great rest of your night though everybody and we'll see y'all later